Good morning! We are back at it again with more vlogs. The time is currently, let's see, 9.04 a.m. and I just finished getting ready. Um, I have my little ponytail in today, isn't she cute? Clearly I need to get a mini tripod. Let's go back here. It's currently 9.04. I woke up this morning at 6 a.m. I woke up this morning, 6 a.m. It was fantastic. I had a great time. I woke up, I did my morning routine that if you guys are unfamiliar, I've done it on YouTube a couple times. I've talked about it on the podcast, all of that. So I will link those videos down below or in a card or something like that. If you want to watch them, I probably will do an updated morning routine because things have changed just a little bit. I thought I'd say what's up. Welcome to our first vlog back after Vlogmas. I actually really missed vlogging. You guys might be like, oh, is something different? I'm actually vlogging on my vlog camera. I have a vlog camera, but I did Vlogmas with all of my DSLR and I liked it, but having my vlog camera is so much easier. It literally is the Sony A5100. It's the little baby pocket camera. I love it. I upgraded the lens on my big camera and I just don't want to go through like changing all of it. And I was like, okay, the baby camera is making a reappearance. It's December 30th, so we are not fully into 2022 yet, but I have so many things that I need to do because I'm actually going to LA on January 10th. So I have to get a lot of things done before I can leave essentially. Also this piece of my hair is kind of bugging me. I didn't really think it would bug me because I pulled the other one out to like match, but it's not really doing the thing. Let's get it. I'm so excited. I'm excited to be back with you guys. It's currently 11.58. I literally just finished doing another podcast episode. I edited the episode that I was talking to you guys about recently and then I had to do the social assets and I had to record another episode. That is done. And I thought to myself, it's 12, let's make some food. And so if you know me, if you watch Vlogmas, you know that I'm now getting HelloFresh, which is fantastic. I'm having a great time. And today we're gonna make the spinach and goat cheese rigatoni. And I'm very excited. I do have to finish my cinnamon bun though. They always send me a garlic and I appreciate it, but here's the thing. I'm like a garlic fiend, so I already have so much of it and I also have like a big just like container of garlic and I feel bad because I'm like oh I have to use this but then I don't use it because I have so much garlic. Alright, where do I just put the recipe card? Let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. Add 10 cups of water and 2 teaspoons of salt to a large pot. 10 cups feels like a lot of water. Like a lot. Of rigatoni? Like, does it need 10 cups of water? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Now we have to do the garlic, the onion, the parsley, and the spinach. So we have spinach, parsley, onion, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just use garlic from my fridge. Spinach is chopped. What's up next? Garlic, onion, and peas. And so, you know what, maybe let's, let's switch to a kitchen view. Okay, so I really should have done the pot on the other burner, but it's fine. It is what it is. They said two tablespoons. Ooh, this backlighting, she is not really the vibe. Is that better? I would say the lighting is better for sure. I'm gonna wait a little bit for that to get hot, and then I will throw in the onions, as well as garlic and these peas. Okay, these are going, but I think I have to keep them on like two, because I have to wait until these onions soften or whatever, but also to the water, because I had to switch it over, has not boiled yet, and for me to go on to these next steps, I have to have the pasta water and I have to do all these things. So I'm gonna have to put these on low so that they stay warm, but like they're not overcooked. Steamy on this one. So once this boils, I can throw the rigatoni in it. I got that new lens and clearly I've just been trying it out. It's all right. I think I've said this before, but a lot of like HelloFresh's lack seasoning and I keep saying that and I don't over season them and I just follow the recipe. 
and I should be doing that. Date. Yesterday I went to Evolution, like Evo, like the, the olive oil. I picked up a bunch of olive oil because I needed new olive oil and some vinegars and stuff like that. But then I picked up this like baby popcorn kit, which was black truffle oil and black truffle salt. Added it on my rigatoni. Good as hell. Good morning, you guys. It's currently like nine. You may have noticed I'm very dressed. Like I'm very ready for it being 9 a.m. I have some leather pants on and a shirt. I had to get ready because I have a bunch of things to do and then at one, I'm shooting photos with Annika. <sighs> I saw all the girls on TikTok drinking chlorophyll water, so I ordered a chlorophyll. I don't really know if it's doing anything for me, but it was ordered. I just got back into my apartment. I had to go and pick up a package. It's from this brand called Canopy, and it's a humidifier. You guys know that I live in Canada and it's freezing because I've said that a million times. It's actually minus 31 today. I've been blasting my heat, and then it makes it super dry Ooh. inside the house. And then, like, the inside of my nose gets dry and all of this, and XYZ, and it's just, like, not a good time. Beauty insiders have long used humidifiers to promote healthy, glowing skin. Humidifiers are also essential for optimal health and wellness relieving symptoms of cold, flu, and allergies. But traditional models are dirty, ugly, and impossible to maintain. Heard that. We've reimagined the humidifier to deliver all the benefits without the hassle. It's the way I brought my big camera with me when I went to shoot photos, but there was not a single vlog camera in sight. Not one. The time is currently 6.57. It's New Year's Eve! Um, I am not doing anything. I, like I said, I've seen the last three New Year's in my house, and I'm totally fine with that. I have this, like, little tradition with my friend Tanisha now. We sit here, and we make our vision boards and FaceTime and we eat takeout and we drink drinks and it's a fun time. I have these little hot chocolate sticks and I, what I think I might do is make one of those and then add some Baileys, like a hot chocolate and Baileys moment because it's cold. Morning! Happy January 1st, 2022, baby! We made it. Another year. Another dollar make mahala. We love to see it. I have some things to do today, but one of the first things I want to do is clean my apartment. It is kind of in disarray, which is unfortunate, and I just don't want to bring that energy into 2022. So my plan is to clean. I actually have to go into my office and I have to go get my little like to-do sheet thing because I wrote down a bunch of stuff that I needed to do today. There's a bunch of stuff I didn't get done yesterday. All of this stuff. So I'm gonna go grab that new one and make a good plan for today. We are back in my living room. Got the green tea going. My mom got me this mug. I don't even know if I've talked about it. My mom got me this mug for Christmas. It's an ember mug and I'm obsessed with it. It's like one of those smart mugs that keeps your tea or like whatever you put in it warm. Currently <laughs> on this list, it has that I would already be working and already have been doing things by now, which is just not gonna happen. I have these days basically planned out until January 7th or something like that, 6th, of essentially just a ton of things that I need to do for my organic social media before I can like really start focusing on like paid social. Me and Attica shot a ton of photos yesterday, but a lot of them are like fashion lifestyle photos. For me, I have like seven or six different content pillars that I post on Instagram. So we finished a lot of like the fashion ones and there is a photo going out today. All of the other ones, like my sexual wellness ones or my body positivity ones, I still have to shoot those, so I have to figure out when I'm gonna do that. But anyway, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna do some planning, I'm going to figure my life out, and then after I'm ready, we'll reconvene, and I'll kind of walk you through the rest of the day and like show you the fun things that we're doing today. <laughs> It is 4 p.m. and I am crashing. I am so tired. So I'm going to finish eating the cinnamon bun that I started this morning for a little sugar kick. This guy right here. It's Saturday, so that means that I really should have a HelloFresh today. However, it's New Year's Day, so I'm pretty sure that's like a holiday. So they aren't gonna deliver them today, so I'll probably get it tomorrow. I just was editing a YouTube video, like a sit down YouTube video, and it's a long video and that's fine. But like I said, I was just crashing. I was so tired and I was like, listen, I just need to sit down and just be peaceful. I am going to sit here and eat my cinnamon bun, maybe watch some YouTube. I don't know, definitely gonna watch some YouTube. Figure out what the rest of the day has in store for me. I should probably go get my ember because it's dead in my office. And I'm just gonna sit here and watch some YouTube. Also too, I don't know if any of you guys watch Reality House, but I watch Reality House. I've watched all three seasons. Season three is still going right now, but I've, I've been up on it. And listen, I've watched it the whole time. Why have I never realized how hot Key and Lolly is? Why have I never realized? 
why have I never realized that? And so I watched like one Key and Lolly video yesterday, and now suddenly my entire YouTube recommendations is all JC and Kean. Hello, happy Sunday. Hope you guys are having a great day. Obviously, this comes out on Friday, but like, hope y'all are having a great day regardless. <laughs> it's currently 10.50 a.m. Oh yeah, somebody commented on my TikTok. Let me go read these comments. So I just did that TikTok trend. It's like, my biggest flex is me and my best friend have been friends for XYZ years. And being older person on TikTok, which actually isn't true because like, most of the user base is my age or like millennial age. Being like an older content creator on the app, I was gonna smoke the girls. So I posted the video and me and my best friend Annika celebrated our 20th year of friendship this year. And if you wanna go watch it, it's in the Friendmas vlog from Vlogmas. And I got her, I got all of my friends actually matching bestie necklaces from Louis Vuitton. My best friend Nikki has one, my best friend Attica has one, and then my business bestie slash manager, Kaylee, also has one too. Um, I just haven't seen her, so I'll be giving hers to her in LA. It's Sunday, and normally I would like chill today, but like I said, I have a bunch of things going on. Just like business stuff, because I did take the time off, which is totally fine, but I just shot some photos for a blog post that has to go out today. My mom texted me, and she was like, hey, are you gonna come over today? Because I was supposed to go over yesterday, but I wasn't feeling great, like I had a super bad headache. So I told her I wasn't gonna come over, and she texted me if I was coming back over today, and I was like, I guess so. So I will be going over to my mom's house today. One of my biggest New Year's resolutions is to drink more water and so far I've drank one liter and I feel like that's good like I feel like it's 11 and I've drank a liter of water and that's bomb.com I probably need to fill up my water bottle wherever it resides I think it's in my office maybe I filled it up I really don't know, I don't know. but uh, I should probably do that because I'm trying to have a four liter water day I forget what I ordered I also got a package from Amazon I know what this is I ordered these extra Pluggies for around my house, but yeah, uh, we'll see what my mom says. I really don't like. I just don't have the motivation to like get in my car and drive over there. It's not even that far. I just like don't want to. I want to like relish in my last day of not having work. But then also too, if I don't bring that over, am I gonna eat it? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Wait. So listen, no motivation to leave the house. I've been saying that. However. I'm about to leave. I'm not going to my mom's house. I instead, I'm going to throw on these leather pants because it is still a little bit cold outside. But I was like, I have such an intense craving for garlic bread right now. I just want, I don't want to make the hell fresh, but I just want like a good carb. I don't necessarily really like to go to the grocery store with no plan. I find that's when you like are spending unnecessary money and doing all those things. But anyway, let me change into these pants. I'm gonna get in the car and I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. Back inside the household. I don't know why before I left, I decided to turn the heat up. It's literally so hot in here. I also ended up picking up some lettuce, which is also like questionable in the quality. And I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's gonna go in my smoothie. Totally forgetting that I don't have lettuce in my smoothie. I have spinach. So now I have this extra lettuce that maybe because the quality isn't fantastic, I might just throw in the smoothie just for like extra greens. The time is 8.48 and um, I am raring to go. Like I said, it's 8.50 in the morning. I woke up this morning at 6. Lately, actually, what I've been doing, I, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about this later tonight, like when we're going to bed, because I have been really focusing on healthy sleep. This is something that I've always been like a huge advocate for just in general, because I very much value my sleep. I was finding lately that I was falling asleep and then I was tossing and I was turning and I was all these things and I wasn't like really getting enough like sleep where I felt rested. I think that I really have like kind of figured it out lately because last night went to bed right at like nine. My alarm goes off at six. So I get like nine hours of sleep a night because I, you know, I prioritize the sleep. My alarm goes off at six and I was finding, I'd let me know if this is like you too, but I was, I find that if I continue to snooze my alarm, it makes me tired and then I like wake up you know, 40 minutes later or whatever, and I'm still like exhausted. My alarm just goes off. I will snooze it once. And the second time it goes off, I will just turn it off. And I don't know if maybe it's like tricking my brain into thinking like, oh, that was our last chance. Like if we don't wake up now or like within a little bit amount of time, like the alarm will not go off again. And I've been finding that when I do that, like my alarm goes off at six and I'll be like up by like 6.15. I don't know, but I think it's been working for me. I also woke up and I ran through my morning routine. Ah still on. Fuck, I turned this off specifically because it was so hot. 
What I actually, okay, listen, I love my Ember a lot. However, something that does kind of bug me is that the last sips are always super hot. Obviously, it heats from the bottom, and then the whole drink itself, like, registers it as your perfect temperature, but, like, when the liquid starts to go down, it's, like, super hot. So I have to adjust that accordingly. But this morning, I did a couple things. <gasps> I didn't even know there was water in this. Kind of a mess today. Since coming out of the bathroom and getting ready and changing and having a shower and all of that, I have made myself a smoothie. It is right here. And then I thought to myself, well, I want to have a coffee still, so I need to have this later. So I think I'm going to put it in the fridge. We talked about this last night, and I freaking hate going to the grocery store without a list. I realize I don't have any more frozen pineapple. This is like the last of it. I normally have the smoothie with ginger, and I have no ginger. And then there's a couple other things that I was like, fuck, like I should have got that when I was there. So I think what I'm going to do is either make a list and go back to the grocery store today or order my groceries online. I'm gonna beat the hoe from the back. Do you see that? You're joking. You're joking. My camera battery currently has like the slash through it so it could die at any second, but good morning. Happy Monday. <laughs> okay, first things first, close every single tab that I have open. <laughs> that, uh, that's how it starts. Okay, today is January 3rd is put on here. I'm gonna do an admin hour, which is normally how I start my day, especially too because it's Monday. I want to do some Quip mouthwash. Something else I am going to order is the Four Sigmatic coffee. Before my camera died over there, I, w I did want to say like, I don't really drink a lot of coffee. And here's the thing, it's true, but you probably have seen me drink coffee often. And it's because I like to drink things that I can put things that are good for me inside of. If I'm like going to drink a coffee, I might as well also add things like collagen or cinnamon or fiber or that kind of thing into it. And that's more so why I drink coffee. I don't drink coffee for the taste. I don't drink coffee for the like alertness benefit. I have to do that. There's other things that I think I wanted to order that I can't remember off of the top of my head, but that's probably what I'm going to do in my admin hour and then also do some groceries and stuff. I have to look at what I'm doing for this weekly content and I probably have to dump this SD card. But yeah, it's Monday. It's the first Monday back of the new year. We're getting it, baby. I just made a little first workout for the first time. Very long time. I actually was very much on my workout grind right before I got sick. Also too, I should say, I like work out every day. I shouldn't even put it as quotes. I move my body every day. I do yoga, I stretch, I do those kinds of things. Before I got sick, I was trying to do at least 30 minutes of a walk on the treadmill every single day, but obviously, you know, then your girl was struggling. Something I should say though, that's actually very important is that um, I don't work out to lose weight. I am not an advocate for moving your body with the goal to be skinnier or lose weight or do any of those things. If that is your choice, that is your choice. As long as it's a healthy choice for you and you're not doing it for societal pressure or for someone to like you or any of that kind of stuff because it's not worth it. But for me personally, I work out to move my body and stay healthy. Someone that I went to university with, his brother is a chiropractor and he said this saying once and I thought it was so funny. He said that motion is lotion. And I was like, that is so true and also very funny because it's a big reason why I stretch every single day because obviously I was a dancer for so long and I'm used to having like flexibility and stuff like that. But also too, just moving your body and making sure that you have healthy movement every single day helps you when you age, it helps your joints, all of that kind of jazz. I said we were gonna talk about sleep stuff tonight, so let's dive into it. I had been struggling to sleep a lot lately. It's currently like 6 p.m. I have my mattress pad turned on already, and I probably will start my full wind down at like 7 p.m. But essentially, what I've trying, what I've been trying to do a lot more lately, setting the scene for nighttime before I really start to go to bed. I'll shut all my lights off. I'll only really have my lamps on, my lamps in my bedroom. I don't do any type of overhead lighting. I actually have a salt lamp in my bathroom, which I keep on at nighttime if I'm in my bathroom, so I don't have to turn on my overhead light and kind of like mess up my whatever you call it, your circadian rhythm and like my body's natural production of melatonin. So once. Seven o'clock rolls around. This is when I start to kind of get ready for bed. I'll watch like whatever my last show is. And then something that I do as well is I have a shower at night. I don't shower at night to have it be like a clean and wash myself type of shower. It's more so like the heat and having a shower before bed helps you to regulate. Is it deregulate? It helps you to get into that sleepy type of state, especially too if like the lights are off and you 
you have a candle going and all of that, it helps you get there faster. Last but not least, I turn down the lamps in my bedroom. I have these smart bulbs, so I put them on like 10% and then I might watch some ASMR or I might do something like that. Watching ASMR so close to my face kind of defeats the purpose of not having any types of blue lights or any type of, you know, overhead light that is like fucking my circadian rhythm up. So what I actually do, what I actually do is click on this button three times and it turns my background red. And so red is for sleep, it's for, you know, the darker settings, it's for all of those types of things. And uh, it's obviously the opposite of blue, and blue light is the only light that can penetrate the back of your retina, which is what like keeps you awake. So that's kind of been like my sleep vibe lately. Like I said, I just did a workout, and I had a little bit of a protein shake today in my coffee, so I think I might finish. I think maybe I should like eat something else. Like maybe I, should I do a yogurt? I don't really know, but that's my update <laughs> for the rest of the night. Happy Tuesday! It's a great day to have a great day. The time is currently 8.57. I have been crushing it today. My makeup is done, my hair is done. I literally crushed today. I'm gonna go to the bougie grocery store, like the fancy grocery store. Normally this is like my admin hour and I have it scheduled on my calendar as an admin hour. And this is kind of scary hours, not gonna lie, because today is actually the day where everybody comes back into the office because it's the fourth and like Monday, Monday was technically a holiday. Anyway, everybody's back in the office today. It's scary hours for me to like be leaving the house during like the admin hour when everybody probably would need me. But I'm gonna go and pray that that is mixing correctly and go to the grocery store and mini so pray for my coffee. <laughs> juice secured pineapples secured ginger secured I normally honestly probably would have trolled around the store a little bit more and like look at what they have because like I said it's like the bougie grocery store with all like the fancy things it's like Whole Foods but we don't have Whole Foods in Canada but I would have looked around a little more and I just like don't have the time also you know what I realized while I was driving here I was like oh I could get Starbucks and I was like wait no like I totally made a coffee I forgot the coffee I literally just forgot to bring it with me. So, it's at home, hanging out. But anyway, no mini so, but we got our groceries. Hello, what is up? Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are having an incredible day. I guess I've said that in literally every single uh, clip, but I'm like, y'all are all, it's a weekly vlog. It's currently 12 p.m. almost. It's 11.54 a.m. and I am checking in with you guys. I woke up this morning, same spiel, same deal. Woke up, did my morning routine, all of that, and I've been having a really productive day. Last night, I didn't vlog really past the morning, but I had such a good meeting with both of my managers. We were literally in this meeting for two hours. It was a one-hour meeting. We were in this meeting for two hours, and it was essentially like an end-of-the-year reflection and then a new year goal setting type of video. Not video, meeting. I literally just filmed a YouTube video so that's why my brain is like doing the whole YouTube thing. I've been pushing my lunch hour lately from 12 to 1 just because normally too by this time I would have had my smoothie. I haven't because I took the whole hour of 11 to film a YouTube video. Today I think we might make the quesadillas from my HelloFresh. This also reminds me I need to go on to my HelloFresh because originally, uh, I guess, well, you know what, let's go into the kitchen, I'm gonna make my smoothie and we can also chit chat. Remember how we started off this vlog saying, oh my god, I'm going to LA on Monday, all of this, X, Y, Z, I'm no longer going. And I wish that I was, however, I just think it's not in the cards for me. Everything was kind of compounding on top of each other and I was like, okay, this might be a sign that maybe this trip is not the, the vibe for me right now, so it is what it is what it is. So originally, this trip was supposed to be a trip with me and my manager as well as a lot of the other girls who work at the agency. And I was like, cool, fun, exciting. This trip is also supposed to be like a week off trip for me. I don't really have to do a lot of work for the week, but then the next week would be a regular work week with everybody there type of thing. But yesterday they had like the team meeting and one of the other girls texted me and they're like, we're calling it off, we're moving it to March, XYZ. And I was like, oh, okay, so we're not going to LA. My manager is currently still going, but it's a 
but that's also too because like her boyfriend lives in LA so she's now obviously going to see him the plans have kind of changed a bit everything is up in the air and I just feel like it's now too hard and too confusing for me and maybe I should take that as a sign that like it's not my time to go it's kind of like I said disheartening and disappointing because one it's so cold here right now like it's like minus 34 today and then two I obviously love LA but there's a lot going on in LA too I think they're getting restrictions I think they're doing a lot of things Maybe it also isn't really the best time for me to be going. I'm no longer going to LA, which sucks, but oh well. The day is through, the list is checked. I actually also too am only one 500 millimeter milliliter water bottle away from hitting my three liters of water, which means because it's only 5 p.m., I can actually probably hit four liters today, which is the first time that I'll be doing it since putting it on my goals of the new year. I literally just finished my last task. I sent a couple personal emails, a couple like other random things. Probably I'm actually, I'm in the kitchen right now just so I can get a little snack because I actually am going to go back into my office, do a couple other like little personal things like do my car stuff and stuff like that. I'm also going over to my friend Andrew's house. We always watch Housewives together and I've been trying every single night like when I sit down to wind down for the night. I normally watch a show or YouTube or something like that and I've been trying every single night to not watch Salt Lake City or Miami because I knew we probably wouldn't watch it today because Salt Lake comes out on Sunday and Miami comes out on Tuesday and today's Wednesday so Miami just came out yesterday so we normally watch them together so I'm gonna go over to his house I'm gonna leave here at 6 he literally lives 10 minutes away from me so it's whatever but I'm going to have this last cinnamon bun baby I made the HelloFresh quesadillas for lunch and they were really good but I think I'm just gonna wait until to eat them like tomorrow so what I think I'm gonna do is eat this I'm gonna crush the other half of my protein shake it's actually sitting right here the plan is to cinnamon bun protein shake water all while doing other admin stuff that I have to go back into my office for and then going over to Andrews watching some housewives I might do just like takeout for dinner maybe I, I don't really know I guess we'll see <laughs> Good morning you guys, happy Thursday. It is currently 9.16 a.m. I have myself a green juice and a kombucha. I'm trying to switch up the order that I'm like drinking my various drinks in. You guys know I wake up, drink a liter of water, and then lately I've been going into coffee and then smoothie and then getting my kombucha in later. Today I thought I would switch it up and do my kombucha first because I do take a probiotic in the morning and then kombucha is like good for your gut health too because it's a live culture. So I thought, you know what? I might as well just do that in the morning also and then have my coffee and then have my smoothie so that's kind of my plan but like I said it's 9 16 and it's the end of the road for us in this vlog it's Thursday which means oh, we gotta do it all over again that being said I really hope you guys enjoyed it I'm really excited to be back and vlogging for you guys it actually is so much fun it kind of like almost like forces me to make sure that I'm doing things every single day which is a good thing because I don't know if you can tell but I'm currently doing laundry and I'm like wow look at me go I hope you enjoyed the first vlog back before you go make sure to give the video Video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below like I said I post videos every single Monday and Friday Monday we do sit down informational videos Friday we do vlogs like this and I would love to have you join the family so make sure to hit the subscribe button down below join me on Monday I will see you then bye